Whooping cream, Grus Americana. In 1938, the first year of population survey was conducted, only 29 whooping cranes remained in the wild. Three years later, only 16 were left. Hunting and reduction of their wetland habitat had vitiated the population and concerted efforts to salvage remnant birds did not being until the late 1960s. Today, there are over 400 birds. Thanks in large part to innovative breeding programs. Though a plan that involved transferring whooping crane eggs to the nests of related sandhill cranes for fostering ultimately failed. Captive rearing and reintroduction have established two wild populations in Florida, one of which has been taught to migrate to Wisconsin. Neither is self-sustaining. The only self-sustaining population migrates between Alberta, Canada, and Texas, U.S. Sea otter in Hydra Lutris. The luxurious waterproof coat that insulates sea otters from the chilly waters that they inhabit almost led to its extinction. A target of the commercial fur trade. The species was almost wiped out, with only some 2,000 of an estimated 300,000 left by 1911. That year, an international ban on commercial hunting was enacted. Though that ban, along with management and conservation measures taken in the wake of the 1972 Marine Mammal Protection Act, have helped populations recover to perhaps a third of their earlier numbers. They are highly vulnerable to both natural phenomena such as killer whale predation and to anthropogenic factors such as oil spills. Snow Leopard Panthera uncia Though it's called a leopard, and certainly resembles a frosted version of those spotted habitues of more equatorial regions, the snow leopard is actually more closely related to the tiger, at least per genetic analysis. Probably fewer than 6,500 remain in the wild, though due to the remote mountainous terrain preferred by the species, and its elusive nature, data is hard to come by. The largest populations are in China and Mongolia, with significant populations in India and Kyrgyzstan as well. Its natural prey include, blue sheep and ibex, but in some areas. It is heavily dependent on domestic animals. The farmers who depend upon the animals shoot the problem leopards. Poaching still constitutes a major threat to the species, as does overhunting of its natural prey species. Blue Whale, Balanoptera musculus. There are fewer than 25,000 blue whales, the largest animals on the planet, comprising several subspecies. Blue whales are found in all of the world's oceans save the Arctic. The current population is thought to have been reduced by up to 90% by whaling in the 20th century. Commercial hunting of the species was ultimately banned in 1966. The National Marine Fisheries Service of the U.S. spelled out a recovery plan in 1998. It stipulated the maintenance of photo databases of individual specimens and the collection of genetic and migration data in order to better understand the species, which remains at risk from ship collisions and entanglement in fishing nets. Tiger, Panthera tigris. William Blake's Forests of the Night, the stalking grounds of the six subspecies of tiger, are burning bright. Slash and burn agriculture, along with logging and human encroachment, have hugely diminished the habitat available to these felines, which require extensive ranges capable of supporting the large herbivores that constitute the bulk of their diets. Poaching, for trophies and body parts used in Asian medicine, is thought to pose the greatest threat to tigers. Probably fewer than 4,000 are left in the wild. In 2014, China explicitly outlawed the consumption of endangered species, including tigers, whose bones, penises, and other organs are superstitiously believed to have magical curative powers. <laughs> 